Welcome to the Late Show, everybody. Thank you so much. Oh. Good to be here, folks. I'm Stephen Colbert. Good to be back. Uh, the election continues to be insane. <laughs> Ever since the tape of Donald on the Billy Bush locker bus came out, <laughs> Trump has been fending off attacks like a woman meeting Donald Trump. There's the woman who sat next to him on the plane, a People magazine reporter, a contestant on The Apprentice, and a former Miss Arizona who described Trump's behavior backstage at the Miss USA pageant. He just came strolling right in. There was no second to put a robe on or any sort of clothing or anything. Um, some girls were topless, other girls were naked. Okay. <laughs> Sounds bad. But Mr. Trump, do you have a response? Lies, lies. No witnesses, no nothing, all big lies. Okay, lies. All lies, he says. Was there anyone, anyone at all backstage at this pageant who could corroborate her story? I'll go backstage before a show. Yes. And everyone's getting dressed and ready and everything else. And I'm allowed to go in because I'm the owner of the pageant and therefore I'm inspecting it. So they stand there with no clothes. Is everybody okay? And you see these incredible looking women. And so I sort of get away with things like that. Look, 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 folks, folks, folks. What are you going to do? It's a classic case of she said, he said, hell yeah. <laughs> and this has led to a free fall in the polls for Donald. And well, Trump has an explanation about this, tweeting, the election is absolutely being rigged by the dishonest and distorted media, pushing crooked Hillary, but also at many polling places, sad. Yes, even at polling places. I mean, this election is being rigged against Donald Trump. I heard, I heard that on November 8th, millions of riggers <laughs> will hide behind little curtains in private booths <laughs> and with a secret ballot collude to defeat Donald Trump. And why? They're doing it for the stickers. <laughs> I rigged. Now, I think that's what it says. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> now, Trump has tweeted multiple times about the media rigging the election, and he's right. From day one, the media has rigged this election in favor of Donald Trump. You cannot turn on the TV without seeing Trump. He's like the Geico Gecko, but more cartoonish. <laughs> in fact, in fact, experts have estimated he's gotten nearly $3 billion in free advertising, and that doesn't even count the money he's going to make after the election selling his all-in-one solution for retrieving stray cats. Just grab them with the Trump brand pussy grabber. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. Notorious. Order yours. <laughs> Order yours today. And the media is not the only unfair advantage Trump claims Hillary is getting. On Saturday, he said that Hillary might be using drugs to help her performance in the debates. I don't know what's going on with her. <laughs> but at the beginning of her last debate, she was all pumped up at the beginning. And at the end, it was like, oh, take me down. Yeah. I mean, listen, listen, no, no, it makes sense. Remember what she said about her debate strategy. When they go low, we get high. <laughs> Matt, I heard that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Those are her words. Those are your words, madam. I that part. Dang. I ain't hear that part. That was yeah, another yeah, part. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, we all remember when a desperate Jimmy Carter debated Reagan on steroids. It was... <laughs> so... That took me by surprise, actually, that joke. <laughs> So fraudulent voters, uh, the media, drugs, and women are all against Trump. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Trump knows these accusations of sexual misconduct are really being concocted by sinister forces. The massive international corruption of the Clinton machine. We've seen this firsthand in the WikiLeaks documents in which Hillary Clinton meets in secret with international banks.
to plot the destruction of U.S. sovereignty in order to enrich these global financial powers, her special interest friends, and her donors. Okay. Okay, I'm following you so far. <laughs> but how did this conspiracy work? Let's find out. Gentlemen, bring out the International Conspiracy Board. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Now, now remember, let me break this down for you. This sex scandal, or this supposed sex scandal, can all be explained with a Venn diagram. Remember, according to Donald Trump, okay, the media is colluding with the Clinton machine. All right? And, stay with me, the Clinton machine is colluding in secret with international bankers and special interests. All to pave over the anti-Clinton revelations in WikiLeaks and point the blame directly at Donald Trump. Right there. Right there. Right there. All right here. Right there. This is happening. This is happening. This is happening. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The plot to make him look like a sexual harasser is coming from inside Donald Trump's penis. Now, I'm going to go on a limb here and guess that CBS blurred some or all of this image. <laughs> but I can assure you, I can assure you, like a rearview mirror, objects on this chalkboard are smaller than they appear. <laughs> hey. 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 Notorious! <laughs> But it all makes sense, folks. Who made Donald Trump walk into that Miss Universe dressing room? <laughs> Who made him brag on that bus? <laughs> Whose idea was it him to run for president in the first place? <laughs> I mean... There's no other way to say it. It's been under our nose the whole time. <laughs> say hello to John Baptiste and stay human, everybody. <laughs>